Uh, in this session, uh, we're going to discuss uh, the uh, principle of uh, superposition theorem. Now, it, is, it states that uh, the voltage across or the current through an element in a linear circuit is the algebraic sum of the voltage across or the current through that element due to each independent source acting alone. Now here, looking at this uh, expression is quite difficult to understand. Now, if you're good in English, I think uh, uh, it will be better for you, but uh, it's quite difficult to understand looking at this one. But when you solve the example, I think it, uh, it will make you easier. This, uh, actually, this supposition theorem, uh, you can understand better with an example. Now, before we go with the example, uh, let's uh, discuss uh, with the important points what we have to do with the, the principle of supposition theorems. Um, okay. Now here are the two important uh, points that we, you have to remember. In order to solve the principle of superposition theorem, we have to first consider only one source at a time. Other sources are turned off, which means if it's a voltage source, we're making it uh, a zero volt or with the same as we're replacing it with a short circuit. And then current source, we are replacing it with the open circuit. When we replace any circuit with open circuit, the voltage becomes infinity, but the current becomes zero. And for the voltage source, if we are replacing the circuit with a short circuit, current becomes infinity, voltage becomes zero. Now this is how we have to play around with the principle of superposition theorem. Remember that we are considering only one independent source at a time, and other source are turned off. This one is in regards to the independent source. Now, if there are dependent source in the network, we are not doing anything with the dependent source. Dependent source are left intact, or we are keeping the dependent source as it is, because they are controlled by the circuit variables. Now, steps, how to solve this one? The first step is we have to turn off all the independent source except one source. Now we have to keep only one source. Let's say there are four to five number of uh, independent source in the network. We have, okay, let's say five independent source in a network. We have to turn off all four independent uh, source and we have to keep only one independent source at a time. Then we have to find the voltage or current due to that one active independent source that we have kept using any of the circuit uh, analyzing uh, technique that we have uh, discussed in the previous session. And then the second step is we have to again keep the second independent source active and then turn off all other independent source. And then again, calculate the voltage of the current and then repeat the steps till the fifth source. And then the final step is we have to find the total contributions by adding algebraically all the contributions due to the independent source. Okay, let's solve this example. We have to find the voltage across this four ohm using this superposition theorem. Now here we have only uh, two source, two independent source, six volt and the three ampere. For the six volt, if you want to make it zero, we have to short circuit this one. For this one, if you want to make current source equal to zero, we have to open circuit this one. So I'm going to solve this one using the Microsoft Word. Okay, yeah. and here is the first step, okay. Now this is the network that we, you, we have, and then the first one is we are when six volt is active, which means three ampere we have set to zero ampere, and then here, in this here, we have open circuit, this one. So our circuit becomes very simple. We can apply the mesh analysis. You are minus of six volt plus eight I one plus four I one is I one is equal to zero, which is, uh, okay, uh, let's continue directly. Uh, I1 is equal to 6 by 12 0.5 ampere. Now, the current through this 4 ohm branch is 0.5 ampere. So, to calculate the voltage V1, 
now we are replacing it with the v1 because we have to uh, assume so many voltage again we have to determine the voltage due to this uh, three ampere current source now for for the voltage due to the six volt we are assuming it is a v1 is equal to current times the current through this branch times the this branch uh, resistor which may which, which is for five 0 0.5 times 4 ohms you get 2 volt okay now when the 6 volt is active we got v1 is equal to 0 0.5 okay we got 2 volt now the second uh, step is second step is when 3 ampere is active when 3 ampere is active our circuit becomes like this previously we have here the 6 volt voltage source now we have replaced it with the short circuit the piece of conductor and for this one we have to apply the we have to apply the uh, the current divider rule because uh, it will be uh, very much simple to apply the current divider rule in this so your i3 will be equal to I3 will be equal to the total current 3 ampere times the opposite resistor here 8 ohm divided by the total sum of this resistor is 4 plus 8 is equal to how much uh, we're getting 8 okay 12 okay I think uh, 3 8 so 24 24 it uh, I think we this will make it one times then you'll get okay, three is the 24 20 was a two two ampere okay we are getting two ampere and then for the voltage again it is a uh, v2 is equal to two ampere times uh, 4 ohm 4 ohm so we are getting 8 volt now the final voltage the final voltage the total voltage due to the 6 volt and 3 ampere is v total is equal to v1 plus v2 which is equal to uh, 2 volt plus 8 volt is equal to 10 volt now when you use the superposition theorem we got the voltage across this 4 ohm is equal to 10 volt now similar uh, to verify this one you can uh, try to verify this one using the mesh analysis or any other technique whichever uh, you feel easy now if you if i play the mesh analysis you can create mesh one and mesh two you will have two equation and try to find the voltage across this 4 ohm you will get 10 volt okay so this is the uh, steps how you have to go uh, uh, with this uh, supposition theorem and then uh, next uh, example okay uh, next example i think we also have one example uh, the solution is also here there are two source therefore let's keep v is equal to v1 plus v2 where v1 will be f of 6 volt and v2 will be f of 3 ampere turn off 3 ampere find v1 okay these are the steps uh, given in the ppt turn on 3 ampere and turn off 6 volt find v2 h v1 and v2 this is the these are the steps how we have done and then okay find v note for circuit shown below using superposition theorem now here you can try it yourself and if you have any doubt let's discuss in the uh, widget or you can just uh, email me